Good evening. It's it's already spring. Because like we just yes, yes. We have a few weeks left. And it's this is the fun concert where we get to recognize lots of students. And uh, we're gonna actually start the concert by doing that. We have a, a few seniors that we're gonna bring up here right now. Um, I'll make sure I do it in the right order here. So can I have Alec McClair get up here? So Alec, Alec's had some uh, rough patches for a while through that COVID thing, but one, I'll tell you what, one thing he always wanted to stay in band. He wanted to be in the band program, and this year he has uh, been in the jazz ensemble, and participated in our events there and, and we went to state. You have to do that. So, Alec, uh, this is a in recognition of your work you've done here. And Someone who does not like recognition, so Sam Lightheart. He might just stay seated. Come on, Sam. You're making me look silly. Where are you at? Where are you at? All right. <laughs> I'll get it later. We'll save that. So that's Sam. All right, here we go. Next one is. Dylan Schmidt. Yeah. Welcome, Dylan. Dylan has been involved in music uh, here at the school all, uh, all four years. He took a little hiatus from the band program for just a, I think a semester. That's about it. And has been in the jazz program the last couple of years. And so I want to recognize you for the work you've done. Also in the Jazz Ensemble that went to state this year. So here's a certificate for that. And of course, a pink chord. Pink is the music chord, by the way, in case you're wondering. It's not because it's my favorite color. All right. <laughs> One more for now. Liam Taylor, come on down. Liam decided his junior year, I think I'll try that jazz lab thing. And he uh, played the vibes, and then I kind of threw him onto the piano, I think, a couple times. And then he decided that he would audition for Jazz Ensemble, and he made it on vibes, and he's been playing piano ever since. <laughs> he will play vibes tonight on one of our songs. But uh, he's done an excellent job, and it's this is an example of someone who just jumps in to try one of our programs mid-career and has a great time and does a great job. So Liam, also in the Jazz Ensemble, has done a great job. Here's your certificate, sir. And, and he has plenty of medals after this morning, so, uh, you know, pick one of those. <laughs> The Jazz Lab's done sitting. They would like to play. I'm sure they're no longer in tune because they warmed up at least 10 minutes ago. But that's okay. This is a concert. It's not anything real important. So, <laughs> just kidding. All right, we're going to start with Satin Doll. This is a chart that we've been working on here uh, on the late part of the year. And uh, they've done a great job with it. We will have a solo from Albert Leon on the piano. <laughs> Is that your brother? I don't know. Okay, we'll find out. Here we go, sit and dog.
get up here. Yeah. Please, please show. Let's hear for Sam Lighthart. So Sam joined us online. The last drummer was Houston Bowman, by the way, on set and all. Yeah. 
And now we've got Lucas Oliver on the drums. And we have a new piano player, that's Oliver Gorchuk on the piano. And so we're going to be playing Route 66, which will feature Max Kaiser on the... Just shake it, works better. Who else? Remind me. And Luca Haverty on the alto sax. All right, these two, um, if I remember right, received Outstanding Musician Awards, yeah? At Mount Hood. And uh, so that was pretty awesome. They played the Mount Hood Jazz Festival and uh, did a great job. And we had some uh, people get Outstanding Musician Awards. Luca, Max, and our bass player, Eli. Yeah. And you're going to hear why in a minute, because here they go. Route 66.
Megan chose three. Enigma Creations, which is the piece we played last year at the date. Lincolnshire Posey, this year's big piece. And Basketball Games, your pet band. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, Hayden showed us just a glimpse of what he was capable of this year as he kind of got serious about a few things. He ended up taking fifth at the state solo contest for alto sax, which is no small feat. I'm so proud of the work he's done this year. It's really helped our program a lot. And uh, actually, all four years have been doing great, great work. And he, you know, does other things. Like a lot of our students, which I'll be mentioning a lot throughout the evening, uh, they're not just doing band only. They do lots of stuff, baseball, other things that you probably don't tell me about. <laughs> yeah, okay. So here's your plaque, and here's a chord. Congratulations. Eliana Leone. All right, Playathon 2019, Starlight Parade 22, West Salem Jazz 23, and San Francisco 23. The person standing before you is a violinist. Yes. And I remember an email from someone, a parent, or was it just someone, saying, my child plays violin, what can they do to be in the band? So we came up with some solutions. Saxophone was where we Eliana landed, and now we have a violin player that can swing. Yeah. Eliana's been awesome. A uh, great leadership person has helped keep the leadership program alive in the band program and help kind of get it going again. And uh, just a lot of things that I can say, but I won't because we have to keep going. Eliana, thank you so much. All right. It's Jazz Lab time. One more. The one o'clock jump. Another drummer, Eden Warmflash on the drums. This will, let's see, this will feature Remy Vasquez on tenor. Next. Uh, who's next? Is it trumpet next or trombone? Reed on the trombone. Max on the trumpet. Luca on the alto sax. And Eli on the bass. And probably other people on the Here we go, one o'clock jump.
moving. Jazz Ensemble will work their way up here, but I'd like uh, Ben McCarris to stop when he gets to me. Yep. Here we go, Ben. Now he... So Ben McCarris, Quibic. What? That's a Western International Band Clinic. It's an honor band. 22-23 State Chamber Contest 23, San Francisco 23, Wind Ensemble 5th at State 22 and 23. Ben has done fabulous work as a clarinet player and saxophonist. He played Barry Sax in the Jazz Ensemble last year and is now lead alto this year in the Jazz Ensemble. Uh, amazing clarinet player. They're, you're going to hear about the Woodwind Quintet that won state a few times. Clarinet player in that group. Oh, no. no. So Ben marches to the, his own drum, especially when it comes to the clock. Yeah, even today, our last jazz rehearsal before the concert, we were deciding what to play, we rehearsed it, and then Ben showed up. It was great. It was perfect timing. Was, oh yes, I get to talk about that tonight. That was awesome. But you have this player, and I'm sure he's going to do great things. Great, great person. Here you go, there's that. And don't forget this. Henry Parker. Henry Parker. Enzo James Berry. Like I said, psych. Just when you thought. No, seriously, Enzo, it's you this time. Okay. And this one's spelled right, just so you know. He got a certificate this morning, they, they spelled his name wrong. Shame on them. Whippet, 22 23, San Francisco 23, State Band 22 23, Play Up on 19. I really wonder what happened at 19. There's a several of you that said, I don't want to know, never mind. And um, so, Enzo, great musician, fabulous pianist and uh, has just done some fabulous work as a trombone player, especially in the last couple of years when he started showing a lot of growth, ended up at State on, and doing a trombone solo, was a sixth place State soloist and trombone in the State. And, uh, he got offered two full ride scholarships. He had to figure out, you know, decide which school would get his services. And he chose the dark side. <laughs> I, I, I don't know what to say, but that's, that's okay. We're gonna miss you. You've been great. We can't have that <laughs> Henry Parker. What can I say about Henry Parker? Another fabulous musician, another great trombone player, another person who got two Fulbright scholarship offers. Almost decided to play the cello but thought better of it. <laughs> he said he liked the sound of the cello, and I said, yeah, so what? Play trombone. <laughs> um, <laughs> so uh, he grew up with Wibbick 22, San Francisco 23. Fabulous player, you're gonna hear him play a few things tonight. Was in a uh, trombone quintet with Enzo that qualified to go to the state uh, chamber group. Played a fabulous piece, and uh, also placed fifth at state this year as solo, and fourth last year, huh? this mic. It might cut out, so that'll be fun. By the way, Hayden, you have the solo. Our guitarist is sick. So Hayden's going to just jump in and, you know, what changes? Who needs changes? I 
So we're going to do Night and Day featuring, if I'm not seen as a vocalist, Andy. Yes! Hayden on the tenor, Sebastian on the trumpet. And here we go. Yes, 
Rooftop Adventures, don't want to know. <laughs> pet Band, he, uh, yes, you know there's a tuba at Pet Band when Joe's there. Wind Cove, which is always the stop when we go to OSU, and he uses a cart. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised he doesn't bring a fridge. I'm glad you're leaving, so we don't have to worry about that next year. <laughs> and Enigma Variations, which we played last year at State. Joe, um, to be a little more serious, has also been uh, a great mentor to our freshmen this year. He's been in our concert band working with our uh, baritone players and doing extra work on the side with them and done fabulous work with them. So, you know, he is kind of a goofball, but he's also got a great heart. So, Joe, here you go. The other half of the tuba section for Wind Ensemble, Gavin Downs. So, Gavin lives in the shadow of Joe. As you can imagine, the person, Joe's personality is quite large. So, Gavin just kind of hangs out and does his thing very well, by the way. Um, you have here Wibig 22-23, third place Brass Quintet 21-22, fifth place at State 22-23, and State Solo and Ensemble 22-23. Went did a tuba solo at State and was sixth. Yes, great job. <laughs> Gavin, Gavin is a true band nerd. And that's a compliment coming from a band director. No one else thinks that's a compliment, but I think it's a fabulous compliment. Yes. So Gavin plays tuba in wind ensemble, French horn in symphonic band. Learn French horn and does great job. Of it. And, uh, and bass trombone in the jazz ensemble. And if anyone feels like spit hits him in the front row, it's him. Just so you know. Great, great work. And he's going to Oregon State. <laughs> Go bees! Eliana too, where'd you go? Yes, yeah, see, they're, they're the smart ones. Yeah, and Hayden too? Hayden, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, here we go. And um, then decided, you know, trumpet wasn't great for his horn chops, right? That's what he wanted to tell me. Anyway. I'm not sure I believe that. But anyway, uh, state champs, Woodwind Quintet. So the horn player in the Woodwind Quintet. Yeah. So there might have been something to that, maybe. I don't know. Of course, then he decided to do boxing. I don't know how good that is for his French horn chops. But, you know, so far, so good, right? They, they haven't got your face yet. At least not too hard. Yeah, too good. Too quick. <laughs> all right. Well, Miles has been an excellent addition to the program all four years, been, and you've been in the Wind Ensemble since your freshman year, yeah? Yeah, so he's been, been great. We're going to miss you. There you go. There's your flag. section we have here is about to 
graduate except for one player, and we're going to miss them, so we're going to feature them one more time. And we can't forget Joe. So Joe was a TA in jazz, and then decided, I want to play tuba in your jazz. So, and so we, play, we pulled this out, and guess what? There's a tuba part. So, there's Joe, right there. They're missing. So we're gonna play A Time for Love. This is a ballad and it's gorgeous and you're gonna love it. Featuring our trombone section.
San Francisco 23, Wind Ensemble 5th and State 20 and 23, 22 and 23. Wibbick 20 through 23. Uh, Maya, great flute player coming right into the program and worked very hard, has been involved in chamber music a lot, loves the chamber music side of things, and has had solos all over the place, and involved in leadership and all those things, so I appreciate all you have done to help keep this program going and get a couple of better. And um, we're gonna miss Maya. She's one of those go-getters that's just always after something and usually gets it. Uh, so, here you go, there's a plaque and a pink cord for Maya Hausman. Aaliyah Silverman, Aaliyah Silverman, Wind Ensemble, Fifth Estate, Wibbick, San Francisco 23, and All City 22. Aaliyah has worked hard on her saxophone and is doing lots of things, and she's also just someone who just enjoys being in band, I think, and has uh, learned a second playing clarinet in a symphonic band, and sitting next to Maya Hausman and talking all the time in rehearsal. <laughs> I forgot to mention that, Maya. So I'm saying it now. <laughs> Not the greatest example, I must say. But that's okay. We all learn eventually. Hopefully soon. Also one of our drum majors, and has been doing great work just keeping the pet band going and all that. So Aaliyah, here's your plaque. And here's a chord. Lionel Wagner. How do you go with the cross, by the way? Sweet. Another person who does lots of things besides band, but still fits band in and does a great job, plays horn. Has done a great job in the horn section. And has always been committed to doing everything we're doing to try to do the best we can with extra rehearsals and all that. It's hard to fit it all in sometimes, but you do a great job of that. Wind Ensemble, fifth at state, 22 and 23. That's all you wrote. You and Mason. Not a surprise. They're good friends, so that kind of happens sometimes. <coughs> All right, thank you so much for the work you've done with us these four years. Here's your plaques, and here's a chord. Thank you so much. For your okay. Now I come down here. Ooh, let's do one of these. Ooh, just a minute. Never walk in front of a speaker with your microphone. In case you didn't know that, don't do that. All right, this is the Quincy Jones Award for musicianship. And I, I try to give this to someone who shows musicianship in everything they do. Usually tend to give it to a jazz student because of improv or other things they might do or uh, whatever that might be. We had a couple of fantastic years in jazz band and uh, we only have one Louis Armstrong Award so I tend to give it to Someone else I think is very well deserving. And so would Lorenzo Jamesbury please come up here. <laughs> All right. The Louis Armstrong Award is a nationally recognized award. You can only give one. Most people know who Lori. Louis Armstrong is. If you don't, look him up. <laughs> That's this thing called Google. It works really good most of the time. Uh, Louis Armstrong, famous trumpet player and singer, really brought jazz to the forefront. And his wife actually is the one who gave uh, the company permission to even have this award in his name. And so, the 2023 Louis Armstrong Jazz Award winner for Cleveland High School is Noah Mortola. Wiggle Walk, and it has a drum solo. I wonder why I did that. All right, so, 
up. We're going to do Wiggle Walk. It's one we've done before, but we've added 16 bars for Noah, and it'll be fun. We're also going to feature Liam on the piano, Aiden on the tenor, Henry on the trombone, and Sebastian Noya on the trumpet over there. Can you walk over to that mic? All right, cool. Henry, just play loud, would you? Okay, that works too. Here's Wiggle Walk.
synopsis, but I think it will yield dividends for sure. We're going to start with Disney blockbusters, with this is the con concert band and symphonic band combined, and we'll be performing two pieces for you tonight. This is my way of announcing that in 2025, we plan to take our spring trip to Disneyland in LA. Two years from now, so start saving up. Yeah, we'll have some fundraisers. We'll talk about more about it as we go. But I just wanted to get that out there now, so we're starting to think about it. Here's Disney blockbusters.
Iris Stacy.
Nissan Movie Magic.
And we continue. Andres Delarroyo. Tuckmont Parks, Wind Ensemble, Fifth Estate, 22-23. Green <laughs> Paliel, Paul Kenton, and Starlight Parade. Another person who does many things, speech and debate, basketball, as you can And um, also <laughs> happens to play the trombone pretty good, too. You were, you've been in the band Wind Ensemble for four years, yes? And again, find ways to uh, make the commitment work and be where you need to be. Appreciate it a lot. Was in that combo quintet that played so fabulously. And another combo player we're going to miss is a lot. So here's your clap. And here's your chorus. And congratulations.
fifth place in the state of Oregon this year again. This program, uh, we can hang our hat on a lot of things, not just one, which is uh, the way I prefer it. Fourth place in state in jazz, fifth, fifth place in band, two ensembles, we're first and second in the chamber. We had seven students medal, get a medal at the state solo contest, you have to be the top five for that. And we have three more that were sixth, which is right under a medal. Fabulous year. These kids work really hard. We're about to play the first piece we play at State called Firefly by Ryan George.
this last group was wondering, did he forget me? So Mason, PIL and State 2223 Starlight Parade, Steady Force in the Wind Ensemble, Barry Sachs for four years. Yeah. Yes, sir. I'll say one thing about Mason. You give him a really cool part, he's guaranteed to take it too fast. <laughs> Okay, you can tell them that later. <laughs> but seriously, he's a great player, and again, someone who just does all sorts of stuff, but still is right where he needs to be when we need him. So Mason, here's your plaque. Yes, and here is your chord. Congratulations. Yeah. person who actually makes sure everyone knows what's next, has the calendar going on the, on the whiteboard all the time, sends out the, some reminds and stuff like that, and had a beautiful solo in Culloden this year, so lots of stuff just growing before our very eyes. I just appreciate everything you've done, and here is your plaque, and just making sure you're not going to U of O or something. Okay. <laughs> Georgia, yes, that's a ways. Get away from the parents, right? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Truth hurts. Because I can't pick just one. I, I'm 
I'm supposed to, but I can't. And when you got this many seniors, are you kidding me? So, I, 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 it doesn't seem to be all right. I can go in any order. All right, I'm going to call the first one. This is someone I've already talked about a little bit. A great mentor to our young players. An absolute goofball. But deserves it for so many reasons. He is the, uh, the spirit of the pet band for sure. And we will definitely miss Joe Silvancia. <laughs>
have Mr. Ryler here as ours. Mr. Ryler is an amazing role model and influence for all of us. He helps us in every single facet of the band and he always strives to make us better musicians in all sorts of ways, whether it's collaborative, when we're working in ensembles and our musicality. Mr. Ryler is really the core of what has made this band excel the past few years and what has made band just one of the best memories of my high school career and probably most of my other seniors graduating here today. So from the bottom of my heart and with all of my other fellow seniors, I just wanted to say thank you, Mr. Ryler, for everything you've done for us. We appreciate you so much, and we hope you have to enjoy this beautiful token of ours. <laughs> Enjoy one of the most fabulous pieces ever written for a band. Look at your posing. 